stakeholders. The need for all stakeholders, especially persons with disabilities, to access and participate in the electoral space on the basis of equality has been encouraged. The call was part of presentation during the bridge modular training on access and participation of persons with disabilities in the electoral process for INEC Disability Desk Officers. The INEC National Commissioner and Chairman Outreach and Partnership Committee, Professor Kunle Ajayi, said the training as part of the Commission's strategic plan of action designed to shape the workage of the new desk officers. He said they are leading contracts going to provide support to the mainstreaming of disabilities issues in electoral process. Also speaking, the Council Representatives of the European Center for Electoral Support, ECES, Amza Fasifidi, said the global statistics shows that persons with disability bring to an estimated 20 to 30 million Nigerians comprising this important population. He noted that their right to vote and be voted for is one of the most visible gains in any thriving democracy. Earlier, the resident electoral commissioner, Oli Shekwa Agbaje, underscored the importance of the training for credible elections in the country. The commission also has as one of its core values the creation of a level playing field for all stakeholders to participate in, especially the marginalized groups, including the PWDs. This taking, the bridge modular training is part of the Commission's strategic plan of action designed to sharpen and enrich the working knowledge of our new desk officers. A truly representative electoral outcome is one that is totally inclusive. Since the Constitution does not alienate persons with disabilities from voting and contesting, it therefore becomes critical to put in place measures that will minimize or eliminate discriminatory practices. We are in a society where PWDs face several obstacles around key processes within the electoral and political process, which tends to subtract their contribution towards development of the electoral and political landscape. With the Commission already been planning for the 2023 general election, not within sight of the equally crucial equity and national state where it pools, this seminar is another demonstration of its resolve not to leave any stone unturned in achieving the conduct of flawless elections. So it gives me immeasurable pleasure to welcome all participants to this unique training program as I am positive that it will yield the desired outcome. 